Hey everyone, we are up here at Mike's Mountain Man Rendezvous Camp and this weekend we're doing a cowboy shootout. It's kind of a bittersweet. This might be the last outing. Um, my buddy Mike might be selling his home so there's a lot of people up there. Let's go take a tour and then uh, we'll get to some reenactment. Everyone's kind of setting up here set up last night, just had to get together last night, and uh, I'll be uh, doing some shooting today, cooking some food, and uh, just having a good time. My name is Roger Justice, and the reason that I got into uh, Civil War reenacting is because uh, as a kid, I was a uh, Introduced to Civil War by a friend. Uh, this was back in 1965, everyone. And I started buying the top Civil War series of cards. They were very non-politically correct at the time. And I got into the South because I was really impressed with the, the, uh, the amount of, of effort, the amount of, of manpower that they put scrounged together with limited resources. So, and this was in Chicago, so when I moved uh, into, when I lost a home sort of in, in Chicago, I moved to the Grand Rapids area, and I went to, uh, went to Hastings event, and I met, uh, and this was around 1995, I met a guy by the name of Lee Strohshine, who was with uh, 9th Kentucky at the time, and he got me into the hobby, and I've been sticking with it, uh, going to so many events year after year, enjoy the hobby. I've been to most national uh, events of the time as well as uh, battlefields, which I thoroughly enjoy and I enjoy studying. So uh, what I feel, I feel while it's still around, uh, Civil War is still, certainly an excellent hobby. You get to meet a wonderful group of people and uh, uh, I highly recommend the hobby in itself. So thank you. Well, back in about 2000, uh, friends of ours had an event, a twice a year event, called Bowman's Mill. Uh, they're friends of ours, so we was over there helping them build up the place. And my son was helped putting a roof on the barn. And uh, another fellow reenactor came up to him and said, Hey, we need some more Yankees. I have clothes for you. So he asked him to come down and help him play. So he played that weekend. And I didn't think anything of it. And then the following fall, because they held it twice a year, he went back over there. So me and the wife decided, okay, let's go over there and watch our son play. And we've got watching, and I'm going, you know what? I turned to my wife and I says, hey, dear, I've got to get into this. So this is in 2000, and that's how I got into reenacting. And I have started out Yankee, did Yankee for quite a few years. Now I'm dead with Confederate. And... Now I'm into cowboy and mountain man. I just enjoy the fellowship out, hanging out with guys and traveling around, seeing new places and doing new things. And I've always been interested in a little kid from playing cowboys and Indians in the army. So that's basically my history of reenacting. And your name is? Chris Westfall. Chris Westfall. I live Westfall. at Gun Lake, Michigan. Awesome, Chris. Hello, I'm Mark. So, I'm from Fort Wayne, Indiana region, and we actually have an old fort down there. And that's how I got started into reenacting. Okay. I'd seen it before a blue million times, never thought anyone did anything out there. And uh, one day they were doing a timeline event, and I decided I'd show up. And that's how I got started in reenacting, asking around, talking to people. It's been a few, a few, very few interesting years doing this hobby. That's awesome. And how old are you? 19. 19 years old. You like it? Yeah. You going to continue to do it? Hopefully, yeah. Yeah. Are you going to do more timeline stuff like uh, uh, other than Civil War, like Mountain Man or Pioneer or anything like that? Maybe. It all depends on the budget and uh, how many, you know, what's in the area and what I can do. Yeah. 
All right. Very awesome. Howdy. My name's Cowboy Bach. I was asked when I started doing this cowboy reenactment stuff. My first time was in Goebbels, Michigan, about 35 years ago. Goebbels had a little festival called the Goebbels Old Fashioned Fun Days. And the merchants thought it would be kind of nice if a bunch of us outlaws would raise a little cane in that town. And uh, all the merchants that uh, participated had a little wanted poster up. My, uh, my handle then was Bobby Ringo. I was the cold-hearted gunslinger. And then Saturday morning we went in to rob the bank and it was five against two. Of course, good guys always win. The two got us. And uh, we fired up a bunch of blanks and we went down. And then uh, Donnie Brown came out with his team of horses dressed as an undertaker, measured us up, threw us in the wagon, and hauled us back to the school where our horses were waiting. And we rode through town to let the kids know that uh, we didn't really die. Uh, always been a cowboy, uh, rodeo, still ride horses. But there's something special about dressing up like this and popping off some rounds. And you usually have a, a you have a big uh, Civil War event too, I do. don't you? Yep, in South Haven, Michigan, Mooresville Civil War days. I got into Civil War reenactment because Mikey got me into that, and uh, well, it's a big deal. Uh, last year, I think we had probably six, six or seven cannons. Uh, once again, that's in Mooresville, South Haven, Michigan. See how many people get mad? You know, awesome. Hi, my name is John Savickas, and I started in reenacting probably. Only about five or six years ago, and I was collecting stuff before I went to my first rendezvous. It's called the Beginner's Rendezvous in Grand Rapids, Ohio. And I went down there, and I had my stuff set up, and everybody thought I was in it for 10 to 20 years. I had more stuff, and I was so worried whether I was politically correct or not. So that was my first time, and I enjoyed it. Today it's Western. We've got, I, all I got left is my black powder double barrel. Have a good one. And everybody knows JP from the last ones. How'd you get into doing reenactment, JP? Uh, I was probably 1995. I met Mr. Leshenet and uh, Elegant at a Civil War reenactment. And he said he was going to get into World War II reenacting. We did that. And we did German. U.S. and we had a ton and a half truck with a trailer. We used to haul the troops out in the, in the field and uh, did a lot of army camps like Fort Custer and Camp Edaberry in Indiana. And we went all over and uh, did a lot of a lot of reenacting, Civil War. Did a lot of them. And then we got into uh, the pilot stuff, you know, the Army Air Corps, we did that. Willow Run, we used to go B-17s, and we did it all. <laughs> uh, we're doing cowboy today, right? Doing cowboy, Yeah. got into that. We're going to have a good weekend. Mountain Man. Yeah. You guys have all seen JP on all the other Mountain Man ones that we've done. Yeah. But we're going to have a good weekend, and thanks for talking to me. Hopefully. Of course, we have Mr. Mike here. He is a host of all our Mounting Man and um, uh, our cowboy event today. How are you feeling about this I'm event? I'm feeling pretty good. I'm I'm blessed with friends and people that share the same interests, and we're looking to have a good time. We're going to have a great time. Amen. I'm the Reverend Brian Lonigan, James Taylor, Ninth Kentucky. Jake. Stumpy. Katie May. Miss Brenda. My name is Montelia Walsh, and I'm glad to be here. Slim Pickens. I can't find anything. <laughs> <laughs>
JP, 7th Arkansas. Mark Smith, 11th Missouri. The Leprechaun. Flash Gordon. Yay! Yay, everybody, yay! yay. Hey Mike, it's been an amazing weekend, good friends, good food, just a bunch of brothers hanging out. This video is dedicated to you and God bless on your journeys. <laughs>